Um, I'll say I don't know. Um, look, there are there are Hall of Famers, there are World Champions, multiple times over. I'm talking some of the best of the best of the best ever that have never gotten to tell a story like this uh, over this course of time with this level of depth with this many talented individuals in front and back of the camera, but especially on the performance side of it. Um, so I feel just so lucky to have been a part of it. This feels like the culmination of it, although, uh, as you said, it's a pretty long timeline with WWE, so even if you think you put a nice little bow on it, you can unravel that any time and call back to it. And that's one of the, again, I think that's actually been the beauty of this story is the number of callbacks. Um, and also, just so much of it would not have worked with any other individuals. It had to be the Usos and Roman because that is a legitimate, lifelong relationship. It had to be Kevin because that is a legitimate, you know, 20-year friendship. And without those, that level of reality bleeding into story, it just wouldn't work. Um, but again, you know, one of the things that I take a lot of pride in with this story over the past year is is that little. I, I do think it transcended the classical kind of wrestling storyline for sure. And I actually think it's a glimpse into what, because of its effectiveness, I think it could be a glimpse of what storylines going forward, if, if not achieve, will at least aspire to, in my opinion. I think this is much like you saw in the television, how it kind of evolved to the golden age of television in the 2000s with HBO and things like that, and more complex and more layered characters so too, I think this story, if I may be so bold to offer a comparison, it's almost like The Sopranos. Uh, it is to WWE what The Sopranos was to television, if I may be so bold to make that comparison.